Well, good morning and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. I'm going to do this video with like this light behind me. It kind of makes me feel, or makes it look kind of, I don't know, wicked, I guess. Kind of angelic, actually. Maybe it's like a sideways halo. Anyway, this is the Sunday, July 31st, the 18th Sunday of Ordinary Time and the feast day of St. Ignatius of Loyola, who was around in the late 1400s died in 1556 on this day. Um, he was a Catholic Spanish priest and theologian who, along with um, Peter Faber and Francis Xavier, founded the religious order of the Society of Jesus, which is also known and most commonly known as the Jesuits. Um, and the Jesuits were very instrumental in leading the Counter-Reformation. Um, and our uh, fatherly leader, Pope Francis, is a Jesuit. Uh, Saint Ignatius of Loyola, he was also a former soldier, but he paid particular attention to the spiritual formation of his recruits from back whenever he was a soldier. And he recorded his method in these spiritual exercises, which is why and where the spiritual exercises come from. Um, so it became known as the Ignatian spirituality, very common in, in retreats, a very deep contemplative prayer. Um, so that is attributed to St. Ignatius of Loyola. So he is the patron saint of the Jesuits as well as spiritual retreats. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 12, verses 13 through 21. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, Tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator? Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Then he told them a parable. There was a rich man whose land produced a bountiful harvest. He asked himself, What shall I do, for I do not have space to store my harvest? And he said, This is what I shall do. I shall tear down my barns and build larger ones. There I shall store all my grain and other goods, and I shall say to myself, Now as for you, you have so many good things stored up for many years. Rest, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, You fool, this night your life will be demanded of you, and the things you have prepared, to whom will they belong? Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasures for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. So, of course, we have the saying against greed uh, and the parable of the rich fool here. Um, it's interesting that they use the word fool uh, because how many of us strive for certain things in our life, uh, for success, monetary success, um, comfort, um, planning the next trip, making sure we have enough money to retire, uh, making sure we have enough money for our kids, blah, 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 blah. But it's, we need to make sure that the interior life is what we're mainly focusing on whenever it comes to being rich. Because if not, all the earthly successes and earthly riches don't matter. Because our souls are what really matter. And I'm can from personal, even personal experience, and also from hearing many people, of, and how unfortunate it is whenever it comes to like grandparents or people dying, just how many family battles take place between money or farmland or different things that get passed on to family members, just bot battling and bickering and fighting back and forth of just wanting all this monetary material stuff. And it's almost like it just completely dampens and weakens the just the legacy that that deceased member had you know so like what do we value whenever we argue over stuff like that um, and like do we really value a human person according to their material wealth and their inheritance and what they can give me um, it seems very selfish um, and God clearly says that this is that you're a fool if you think that way. 
which are pretty harsh words. So he, that very last line says, Thus will it be for the one who stores up treasure for himself, but is not rich in what matters to God. So how are you in the, inter in the interior life, since it is also the feast day of St. Ignatius, even though we're not celebrating it because it's a Sunday solemnity. Um, but how is our interior life? Are we, do we have a restful heart or a peaceful heart as much as what we can on this side of heaven? No matter how much wealth we have. Because we all know fame and wealth and fortune clearly is not going to fulfill anybody. Just look at the famous, any famous people in the world and all those who have committed suicide and all the whatever. Like there's something more and that can only be fulfilled by God. So what are you doing in your prayer, in your relationships to grow in what truly matters to the Lord? And if we are blessed abundantly with riches, do, does that bring us closer to God in gratitude and with how we live our lives and also our charity? It's a, a good thing to reflect upon, especially on today's gospel. So have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen.